Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. I want you to go into the past like your childhood. What was something your parents stressed more about? I mean, what was that one thing they gave you a lot of hard time? Brothers and sisters, we recommend to love your parents, respect them, value them, help them, give your time to them, do whatever you can do for them. Well, did you recollect that thing your parents were strict about? If you did, masha Allah, otherwise let me help you with it. I think it was going to school and doing your homework and studying for exams. It would have helped you somewhere in life. You better thank them for it. Maybe you can relate to the fact that your parents are strict about using good words, stopping you using dirty vocabulary you learned from your friends. Well, with all your thoughts on your mind getting nostalgic, I want to share with you the active course of this video. Watch this video clip first. I remember when I was a kid, I was training, I was go to the school to study, and I was uh, study Quran, you know. And uh, only one way my father gave me a very hard time, when I have like uh, bad days with my teacher in Quran, you know. And I'm like, hey, you just coach, you know, but why you... Why you never uh, give me a hard time when I train bad or when I miss training? And my father told me, we living on this life not to become good athletes, not to become like like good teachers or something. We living this life to be good Muslim. And if you... Masha Allah, I don't need to decipher it. It was so wholesome. Here I take, or rather we take, inspiration from Habib's father. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. To prioritize the Quran, the word of God, to be disciplined in our schedules with it. We have to emphasize or make note of the fact that his father was his coach. There's so much money in this sport, so much fame, and things we probably can't think of. But his father, Masha Allah, was strict with the Quran classes. Why? Why on earth he was reflecting on this? Brothers and sisters, it's life. His father's advice is the gold standard. We are here to be the best Muslims, even if you are a doctor, but do it for the sake of Allah. With honesty, ethics, integrity and care, being the best in your profession should come under the label of being a best Muslim. Our deepest and greatest concern should be to obey and worship our Lord, our Maker. Learn to keep Allah first, see how successful you will turn out. But I'm not telling you to swap hard work with dua, you need both. Let's make the best of this life. Brothers and sisters, Quran is the everlasting and living miracle of God's final prophet. Not only because it has been free from distortion, but also due to its inimitable eloquence beauty and style. The Quran has said that it is a guidance for those who fear God. The Quran itself challenges people to bring its like, even a single surah if they can, asserting that they will never be able to do so. Subhanallah. In the Quran, God Almighty has stated, Indeed, we have sent down the reminder, and indeed, we will preserve it. Remember, your children don't act on what you say, but they exactly follow what you do. Brothers and sisters, you can apply this example for other things in life. That's how our kids learn. Let's be good examples to them, inshallah, hoping that will add in our scale of good deeds too. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.